Yeah. Connection was good on that one there. Distance there was up, you see. So if we look at the setups of these, I guess not a massive change, but this one on the left-hand side, again, a little bit kind of leaning mm. on that left foot, okay? This one now, for me, if we sort of draw a line down sort of through the center of you there, that's kind of where the head is behind. The, it's not miles behind the goal, but although it feels sort of back yeah. here, yeah. in reality, you're not that far. And also the foot is just slightly opened out rather than kind of turning a little bit. Again, very small little margin. We're just moving little tiny things at a setup. It's easy to make micro adjustments at setup and to try and make these adjustments during the swing, okay? Yeah. Grip was the major thing though at setup we can see there now, yeah? So your left thumb there, see how the left thumb and the sort of index finger sort of split. So when you get to the top of the back swing, you've lost all that control of the golf club. So when you get up here, the hinge is going to happen and you get to the top of the back. So now your left thumb wants to be supporting the golf club. It can't. So that sort of like there. So that sort of last movement there. There's not. There's no other body movement now apart from the club weight itself just sort of falling between your sort of thumb and forefinger. And that amount of wrist hinge, it's just really hard to get back to the golf ball, okay? So the sensation of sort of staying 50-50 with a better grip and less wrist hinge. A bit further. There you go. Now, it feels like you're hinging the wrist massively less, aren't you? I mean, it is definitely less. I mean, yeah. the club's sort of there to there. So it is reduced by quite a bit. In an ideal world, if that's where your arm can go, you're probably going to be somewhere in that area. My elbow looks more, like, bent. Your left so elbow. This one looks more like it's coming around more. Which one? Your left or right elbow, sorry? The yes. nearest one to the camera? Or your, left. Yeah, to so your left arm. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah, <laughs> left and right <laughs> test. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they're definitely... I mean, the thing is, you can turn more. I think when you're 50-50, you're able to rotate more anyway. Yeah. yeah. If your weight's like... on the left side, it's hard to move as much. Because A, it's not as comfortable, and B, you're going to sort of lose balance. So, at least from here, the key thing is now, we have the stick. Obviously, the stick's gone a bit far back there. Ideally, somewhere there. If you can practice it on the end of your foot there... So you can start missing the ground. You can see now what we want to try and do is move this hip through that red line, which you can see you're doing, yeah? Mm -hmm. There's a movement now through that left line. Striking the ball there now. You can see the weight now is starting to move towards target. At impact now, we'd want your lower half to look more like that, okay? As opposed to being almost neutral there. Mm -hmm. But that will come with practice. Again, doing that movement there, sort of, as you said, where you're sort of just moving and shifting mm -hmm. this, we can get that sensation of how the body moves. Yeah. The thing is, you couldn't move that way when your weight was stuck on the left side. Yeah. So if you did that, you'd either hurt or you just push off the back foot. Mm -hmm. So moving the body better, getting that ball into position now, where your hands are kind of just past the golf ball impact. So that's just before impact, and the hands are sort of middle of your body, and then just after impact. So your hands are probably in that sort of correct position there to get that good strike. And then through the ball there, now you finish up on your left side there and balance in a good position, okay? It's just moving that body a little bit more to the left and a bit earlier, okay? Obviously, with the work with that stick there, it's going to encourage you to do that. Because if you don't, just smack the stick, yeah. all right? So putting that stick there to give you that kind of feeling of how you're going to miss that stick. What we want to try and do is obviously start there to bury yeah. the club in the ground because you either get then too steep and you the ground back here. Or you go, well, I'm very good. I'm now going to miss the ground. And that's where that inconsistency came from, yeah? Starting a bit left, too much wrist hinge, losing a bit of control. Okie dokie. Does that yes. make sense, yeah? So it yeah. doesn't, it's a bit more driverish setup. I mean, your head's not kind of back here somewhere where it felt when the first time with the driver, in fairness. It's just moved back a little bit. But again, you think all the time, the left hand is higher than the right hand on the golf club. So this shoulder needs to be higher than that one. So it stands yeah. to reason that you're kind of a little bit tilted back behind mm. the golf ball, yeah? All right? Yeah. Very good, very good.